What's up guys, Lowe's Car Pavo. So today we're gonna be taking my car to a shop near, nearby to be getting some TIG welding job on my exhaust system. I ended up switching from the Corsa Extreme to the Corsa Sport Catback. I wanted a little bit more quieter exhaust system versus what I had. And uh, currently I installed it. It sounds amazing. But uh, what I wanna do to it is make this system a free flowing exhaust for those of you who know. Um, it may basically make it an off-road mid-pipe. I have cats right now, so we're gonna do that. And also, I have to get my cat back modified in order to fit the GT350 valence for my, my uh, Corsa quad tips. So we're gonna head down there, get that job taken care of, and then shoot some exhaust clips of how this car sounds. And already, just by having the cat back on there, it sounds perfect. If you're looking for long tube headers with the, the catback exhaust system that isn't too loud but has enough growl and enough sound that just sounds real deep and mean, I definitely recommend the Corsa Sport. But anyways, without any further ado, let's go down there. next day came to pick up Chewbacca uh, it turns out that we I, left, I ended up keeping the, the cats on the car they decided that's the best route to follow um, but we got the Corsa Sport cat back fully fitted it looks phenomenal fully TIG welded with stainless steel T304 stainless steel so I'm just letting the car warm up before we head out and then we'll do some uh, driving around now, Corsa has what's called the Touring Axleback and the Sport Axleback. Now, when you pair the Touring Axleback with the double X pipe, that becomes the Sport Catback. And when you pair the Sport Axleback with the double X pipe, that becomes the Extreme Catback. So, for those of you who don't know, well, now you know. It's, it took me a while to find that out. Um, so yeah, so essentially I have the touring mufflers now with, with the double helix X-pipe, hence the Sport catback. And I'm gonna put some pictures on here showing the difference between the Sport, or excuse me, the Sport and the, the touring mufflers. So basically the Sport mufflers, as you can see in this picture, it's just like a straight through design with one hole cut on the very inside. It's, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but it's, think of it as like a straight pipe in other words and the touring muffler has like a bunch of little holes throughout the entire inner pipe of the muffler to allow i guess you know it allows the the, the exhaust to kind of escape through and into the the muffler itself kind of dissipate the noise a little bit but um so you can see clearly between the extreme and the sport cat back um but i ended up going with the sport cat back because it was a little too loud this is even this is just my weekend car but even so i thought it was a little too loud for myself um i kind of wanted something more deeper a little more uh, uh i guess you can call it matured and sound um but i'm very content with it it sounds great we'll give some pulls right now once the car is fully warmed up but overall i'm glad i went this route it makes me enjoy the car a lot more i don't feel as bad now <laughs> turning on the car in the mornings on the, uh, with the, the cold starts because the cold starts with the extremes were just like stupid loud man but but with this it's a little it's definitely tamed down the the exhaust note um, but at the end of the day both setups sound amazing and you know props to Corsa because you get zero drone with whichever system you go with so we'll check out some pools here in a little bit in Chewbacca
tell in the video, but it definitely has a deeper sound. To me, the, the course extreme is like really like high pitched, but the course is forward cat back gives it that really like a deep roar. That kind of the kind of sound that you expect from a muscle car, you know, from a V8. While still retaining that nice, you know, the, you know, the distinct Mustang 5.0 liter sound to it. So that sounds amazing. I should have gone with the Corsa Sport cat bag a long time ago. <laughs> I'll put it that way. You know, but the extreme, the thing about the extreme is it's it's a great cat bag. If you're you're gonna stick if you're gonna stick with stock headers and stock mid pipes. The moment you take off cats or you go with long tube headers, that's when you should definitely consider getting a sport cat back if you're a Coyote Mustang. So. Off over here in Mexico, as you can see. <laughs> All right. Video about the 
about how to fit the Corsa catback on your 15 through 17 Mustang GT to adapt to the GT350 diffuser or valence. So this time I got stainless steel welded on with the T304 and uh, they did a great job. Looks much cleaner. There she is guys. Hopefully this helps those of you trying to decide between the course of sport or extreme. I think in this video the sound will do no justice. I mean I have no mic. I have no external mic to record the details with uh, when it comes to sound but I'm pretty sure you'll hear a little bit of slight difference. Anyways thanks for watching guys. Y'all take care. Lowe's Car 5.0 out.